Zidane Minister Mursi Is on just a swimming Ah, very sorry, Minister And that's the bad news That's my bad I'm going to take it to our sanitizer. Sorry, I'm not going to talk about it next time, but yes, you know, I'm going to talk about it. Yeah, what's up, mate? Eu não gosto de brigar. Eu 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 gosto de brigar. Só não fazer nada. Ah. Antes next time. Ah, mas o que é que você me anda a fazer? Ah, não dá um pouquinho. Antes a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a Aí se já anda para antes, mamã, mamã manja aí. Two minutes. Ah, mas de moco nós estamos com ninguém, ninguém ministro, então já não vai ter hora de ir. Ah, mas mas de chumbo já aí, de de chumbo se é de 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 de. Olha, dar, isso não é chumbo, é isso mesmo, é de chumbo tal. É, 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 é Go at sports and culture, please, Msa. Where I get you? Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, welcome to another episode of the Weekend Lockdown, live from my kitchen. It's been another crazy week where Obadiah DJ Biscuit Moyo finally got fired from his health ministry, Shabin. The government decided to listen to striking nurses by arresting them. And the MDC carried on fighting with the MDC. But first, buckets. Yes, buckets. This week, a whole president and his deputy quit what they were doing, which was probably nothing, and went to go and receive buckets. This overwhelmingly generous donation was from Bishop Ndanga of the Apostolic Christian Council of Zimbabwe and was intended to fight COVID-19. I guess when your hoodment has looted over 60 million USA meant for actual COVID drugs and resources, you should just be happy when Impostori offers you some buckets and some milli meal. They also got some donations from the Red Cross, Zera and others. I'm sure our striking nurses will be happy because a bucket shower after a long day of risking your life for the nation is way more patriotic. Eka. We're slowly becoming a nation that celebrates mediocrity because while ED was receiving state-of-the-art buckets, the Harare City Council was patting itself on the back for completing major renovations in Mbari. What are these major renovations, you ask? They installed a few taps at Mbari Musika and painted some rails at Rufaro Stadium. No, comrades, those are not major renovations. You know, the maintenance. In some slightly late news, Obadiah Online PhD Moyo has been fired. It's slightly late because this is a man who should have been fired before he was even hired. This guy isn't even qualified to run tuck shop Yamai Johnso, but still the Hurment allowed him to oversee a healthcare sector beset by doctors and nurses strikes and more recently a disastrous COVID-19 response. So we say good riddance and shout out to the citizens who piled pressure on the government to sack him. However, the struggle to save our healthcare system is far from over. Remember, this is the same Hurment that's arresting nurses for using their constitutional right to demonstrate.
A big shout out to that nurse for his bravery. Salute. Yes, instead of listening to our nurse's demands, our woman replies with baton sticks. Zimbabwe's COVID-19 cases shot to over 800 this week, as 98 cases were recorded in one day. Ah, government, Doinun's leadership. VP Mohadi wants you to know something very, very, very important. Is it government that is causing that? Mm -hmm. huh? mm. how, 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 how are they causing it? I'm saying this. Because one, we got our political independence, but the white men never gave us the knowledge of how to run the economy. Huh? Yes, that is the actual vice president using his mouth to blame Ian Smith and his cronies for not teaching ZANU how to govern the country. So then, who taught you guys how to steal my VP? If you're saying that you wanted to learn from people who designed an economy to service a tiny minority, then we definitely consider you my first class graduate. Hallelujah. Amen. How much money does it cost to join a WhatsApp group? It's free, no? No, not if it's an anointed WhatsApp group with data from Jehovah and emojis from the Most High. Prophet Money is My Church, Passion, announced a 1,000 US dollar joining fee for his WhatsApp group recently. Sure, I read that. He then had to cut it down to a discounted 200 US dollars because he realized our Zimbos are broke because of con artists like him running our economy. You've got to love Dagi Monzora. I mean, he's like that ex who says he hates you and you're a terrible person, but on the flip side, all the amazing stuff that you've done is thanks to him. Yes, yes, we need that one. We definitely need it. Boots. Recently, Dagi said him and his MDCT comrades deserve a share of Chamisa's 2.1 million votes in the presidential elections in 2018. Eh? I thought you said you never supported Chamisa. How can you then claim his votes? Also, Dagi has recently told Chamisa to stop using the MDC Alliance name. But I thought MDC Alliance didn't exist. Can you get your facts straight and then come back to us, comrade? As some of you may know, some very big noise is planned for 31 July, and it's not Japriza's 72nd album launch. No. Opposition politician Jacob, I'm still here, Ngarivume, is planning a big demo alongside other opposition parties and protest groups to protest against the terrible state of the nation. So trust ZANU-PF National Commissar Victor Matimadanda to come out and say that the protest is sponsored by the West and is designed to spread COVID-19. But we are reliably informed that they have got a mechanism of spreading uh, uh, corona, uh, which, is, which has been brought in by those that are funding this. So maybe what is important is, is to tell the Zimbabweans that uh, it, it is up to their safety this time around. Uh, they are being using, used as a pig, you know, uh, uh, you know, pig and what, um, uh, what do you call it? When, when someone is being tested upon to see how effective an experiment can, can, can be done. Is it uh, 
Uh, so this is what they are trying to do. They are trying to use Zimbabweans to infect them with the coronavirus and then blame the government for not being proactive because they are disappointed. Yeah, you couldn't make this shit up. Matimalanda claims that the 31 July protest is bankrolled by the West to the tune of 300,000 USA and is designed to accelerate the spread of coronavirus amongst Zimbos. No, I think you're doing a great job of spreading corona all by yourselves as the Hurmet. Matimadanda said why this is being done. It is not because people are concerned about the ordinary people, but they are trying to bring a narrative first to see how the government is going to react to the demonstrators and obviously cry about the disregard of human rights. Hold on, why are you guys already predicting that you're going to violate human rights? And we are reliably informed that they also have some canisters containing um, uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, active uh, material uh, that is scientific. The, the scientific people can have a, an explanation, but they hope to spread COVID to the Zimbabweans. Okay. Yes, man. COVID guess. But I mean, we've got to hand it to these guys. Eh? They've got a great imagination. Mm. So creative. At the same time, old Prez Mnangagwa has pampered soldiers and police, giving them monthly COVID allowances of up to 8,000 Zim dollars, which is obviously meant to appease them ahead of the 31 July protests. In contrast, teachers were awarded just a 1,200 Zim dollar allowance. Because who needs education? To top it off, Nick Twitterfingers Mangwana hinted on his Twitter account that ED may be forced to lock down just Harare and Blawayo in the face of rising local COVID-19 cases, which sounds like a good excuse to shut down the planned Jambanja. So once again, we have a Hurment who's blaming everyone else for citizens' anger and using COVID as a reason to take away our freedoms. Comrades, if you just sorted out the basics, we wouldn't be having these demos in the first place. This week, Zimbos found out that our most daring and outspoken citizens were in fact Mambo's Chicken. The Cheeky Chicken brand came out with adverts saying that they serve chicken chete chete and saying chisa nyama chisa. I think the Hurment may now have beef with Mambo's Chicken. A shout out from us comrades at the week to you comrades at Mambo's because definitely you guys don't seem to be chickening out of expressing ourselves. Thanks for joining us on the Weekend Lockdown. Follow Magama TV on social media. I've been Comrade Fatso. This has been the Weekend Lockdown. You have been the people. Thank you and FUTSEC!